Hey, I'm Mindy with Cute Girls Hairstyles, and this evening we are going to show you another no heat curl tutorial. We're calling this one headband curls. So again, it's going to not have any heat, which means no damage to your hair whatsoever, which is fantabulous. And the other nice thing about this one is it's one you can do in the evening before you go to bed, sleep on it, wake up the next morning and you have great curls and you're ready to go out the door. You don't have to spend a lot of time in the morning getting ready. So the first thing you're going to need for this one is a headband. Now when you're looking for a headband for this hairdo, try to find one that's preferably made out of like a soft cotton or um, some soft material. They, you can see that she has it resting on her forehead and with her sleeping with it in overnight, if it has grippies on it or it's plastic, it can just, you know, sink into their skin and kind of bother them if they, anyway, so just get a cotton headband. They'll like it a lot better. So if you have bangs like she does, I have just taken it and put it under her bangs so that her bangs stay out of the curls for the night and she can just style those again in the morning. Um, if you don't have bangs, don't worry about it. Go ahead and set the headband on your forehead and you'll notice that I have set the headband underneath her bangs but on top of the back of her hair. Okay, So it's just going to go right on top of the hair. Now, I find that it's helpful to spritz the hair just ever so slightly. Um, with water. Remember that you don't want to make it so wet it won't dry overnight. So just a little tiny bit of water. Then you're going to take a section of hair and you're just going to pick up that headband and wrap it through the headband. And then you're going to take, combine it with a little bit more hair. So now you've combined that first section and the second. And you're just going to do the same thing. Lift up the headband, pull it through. And now I'm going to give it a tug just so that that hair sits as close to each other as they can. She has a lot of hair and so I tend to run out of headband before hair. So again, take it, pull it through, and try to keep it tugged. Add some more hair, take it, wrap it, pull it through. Can you turn your head this way a little bit? Okay, I think I turned you the wrong way. This way, there you go. Okay, and this is definitely one that you can do on yourself as well as on like a daughter or a sister or something like that. Um, I've done this one on myself before. It's really pretty easy. So you're gonna continue wrapping till you get to the center back. And then you're just gonna let that sit for a second and I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side which will be more challenging for you guys to see but rest assured I am just doing the same thing again picking up hair and adding it in so we love curls this is a good one pick it up, wrap it the smaller sections that you have, you're going to just make the curls tighter. And when you get to the end, got one more. Turn this way just a little bit. Thank you. Okay. Pull those through. Now you're going to take both parts and you're just going to continue to wrap. See what I mean about running out of headband before I run out of hair? Until you run out of ends. I've got one more, I think. Yep. Make sure it's all in there the way you want it. Okay, and turn forward. I've actually seen people, believe it or not, just leave their hair like this, like during the day. They wear, like they'll leave it a little wetter, wrap it up over the headband like that, go to school, wear it around the grocery store, or wherever they're going, and then if they have a nice date or a dance recital or something that night, then they just take it out that night or even sleep in it and take it out the next morning and it becomes a second day do. So we're going to leave her hair in overnight and we'll show you what the curls look like tomorrow morning. Hey, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and we're going to show you this morning the second half of headband curls. So we showed you last night how to set it up so your daughter could sleep on her curls or you can sleep on your curls. 
and this is what it looks like this morning. You can tell that she's definitely slept on it. It's kind of a mess and a little bit scary looking. We're gonna get it all fixed up. So what you're gonna do is just go to the back where you tucked in those last pieces and start just very gently unwinding the curls similar to the way that you wound them in in the first place. Just gently tugging them out of the headband. Okay, and we'll do this side now. And you can see the curl already. And then just remove the headband altogether. And there you have curls. Now, at this point, you can do many different things. I'm going to go ahead and just very lightly brush the curls, just and especially the top to just kind of smooth in where her bed head was. Okay, and you can leave it just like that. You can see she's got really soft, pretty curls. Or if you want, you can do a style at this point. One of our favorite things to do. Thank you. And then it's kind of fun to just take chunks of the curl and bobby pin them. here and there over the rubber band. Which is gonna leave you with a really soft looking top part, like so, and kind of fits curls. And then just go ahead and place the curls where you want them. And then, of course, we'd have to style her bangs, which we haven't done this morning yet. <clears throat> Within a matter of minutes this morning, we have this beautiful head full of curls that you could wear anywhere. And we did it with no heat. Turn on, say bye. Bye.